Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit have upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the noon of our lasting covenant. It will be shed for and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. We would remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Benedict, our Pope, Fernando and George, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters of God their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share it in a life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles and St. Paul, with all the saints and St. Hannibal, who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. St. Paul reminded us to pray, so with our prayer, we conquer everything. Our moment of calling our Father is none other than our deepest intimacy with Him. 
And so today, when we call him Father, we say, Father, thank you for the good news in Jesus. And thank you too for commending us. When we say today, the Our Father means we would like to be honest, clever in the spiritual things of life, more than money, to value friendship and brotherhood and relationship, and lastly, to serve God as the first and the most important. Perhaps on our part, especially for you in the medical field, especially the Catholic ones, your call is to produce saint doctors for the kingdom of God. And that would be our prayer also. We come together for that prayer that conquers everything. To the Father, we address the prayer Jesus taught us. Sa langit ka, sambahin ang halal mo. Kapasa amin ang kaharian mo. Suuntin ang loob mo. Dito sa lupa, para ng salami. Diyan mo po kami tayo ng aming kakain sa araw-araw pa. Tawarin mo kami sa aming mga sana. Deliver us, Lord, our families and community from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, give us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. 